topic 26 electromagnetic induction which simply means generator effect generating electricity part 1 induced EMF a conductor cutting through the uniform magnetic field lines of a horseshoe magnet that's a horseshoe magnet it's uniform field here going from north to south and this conductor is cutting through these field lines this induces an EMF in the conductor, in this conductor here, across its ends, across these two ends. This induces a current in the complete circuit. So if you complete the circuit of this conductor, there will be current flowing. This is called electromagnetic induction and is sometimes called the generator effect. For generator effect, you have to use Fleming's right hand rule. That's the right hand, thumb, first finger, second finger, all perpendicular to each other. And it says here, first finger in the direction of the magnetic field, F and F, the thumb, with M here, in the direction of the movement, then second finger, which is that one there, points in the direction of the induced current. That's the way the current will flow. This is just to show you how Fleming's right hand rule is applied in this situation. We can also generate current in a coil like this by moving a magnet either towards it or away from it. It says here an induced EMF in the coil will cause a current to flow in the coil such that it will build up an opposing magnetic field to repel the approaching magnet. So the current in the coil will flow in such a way that a north pole will be produced here. North will repel this north here. Now, this magnet is being pulled away from the coil. And the coil now will react in the opposite way. The current in the coil will flow in such a way that the magnetic field built up will produce a south pole here to attract this north back. Factors affecting the induced EMF. The direction of the EMF can be reversed by firstly moving the magnet out, secondly reversing the poles of the magnet, thirdly pushing the magnet into the other end of the coil. Here it says when the magnet is moved into a coil an EMF is induced. The EMF can be increased by using a stronger magnet or more turns on the coil or moving the magnet faster. Current in one coil can induce current in another coil. There are two coils here, end to end. Closing the switch for the circuit on the right, this one here, can cause a magnetic flux to grow into this one. This in turn induces a current in the circuit on the left, so this current induced in there. Opening the switch, the switch here, has the opposite effect. In other words, it will cause a current in this coil to flow the other way.